August 2025. The James Webb Space Telescope intercepts a signal. Impossibly rhythmic, brutally precise. Scientists freeze on pure carbon dioxide lines. No water, no carbon monoxide. A chemistry that shouldn't exist. The object, 3, I slash Atlas, interstellar, flawless, in symmetry, trailblazing through our solar system on a path ruled by prime number pulses. Within hours, classified protocols lock down the truth. Webb has just alerted the world to a cosmic anomaly that defies every natural law. Why was a telescope built to peer at ancient galaxies suddenly an emergency override, catching a countdown from an object that looks engineered? And what happens if this signal wasn't just meant to be heard? On the morning of August 6th, Dr. Anders, senior spectroscopist at the European Space Agency, stared at the first raw frames from Webb's NIR spec instrument. The core of 3I slash Atlas burned bright on the spectral graph, but the lines told a story no comet should ever tell. Carbon dioxide and nothing else. No water vapor, no carbon monoxide, not even a trace. The emission shell was perfectly concentric, a glowing ring of carbon dioxide that defied every model of cometary chemistry. In the cold dark at 6.4 astronomical units from the sun, where most comets are frozen and silent. 3I slash Atlas was already venting gas, yet only one molecule dominated the spectrum. Dr. Anders ran the calibration again, then a third time. Each pass stripped away the hope of error. In every exposure, the carbon dioxide peak towered over a desert of missing features. Water lines, normally the brightest for any icy visitor, lay buried in the noise. The ratios didn't shift. The data pipeline flagged the anomaly, and within hours, the numbers circled through three agencies. The pattern was too clean, too surgical. Even the coma's faint glow, mapped by ground-based telescopes, refused to break symmetry. The halo wrapped the nucleus in a shell so uniform it looked engineered. No gradients, no jets, just a seamless envelope of carbon dioxide. By midday, comparison with Gemini South and IRTF spectra only deepened the mystery. Every other interstellar object, Oumuamua, Borisov, had shown chemical fingerprints from a dozen volatiles, each with its own story of cosmic birth and journey. But here, the spectrum was a monologue. Dr. Anders typed a single line into her confidential memo, carbon dioxide only, no water, no carbon monoxide, no precedent. The implication was immediate. If natural processes could not account for such purity, the object's origin was in question. The perfect symmetry, the chemical impossibility, the absence of any known cometary markers. Each detail widened the gap between 3 by slash Atlas and everything cataloged before. By nightfall, the anomaly had triggered internal review and the first rumors of a data embargo began to circulate. In the silence of the web control room, the impossible chemistry of 3I slash Atlas was now a secret too strange to ignore. August 6th, a junior technician on the web night shift scanned the incoming, scanned the incoming NIR spec telemetry. The chemistry was already chaos, but tucked beneath the carbon dioxide plateau. Another anomaly flickered, not a chemical trace, something in the data stream itself. The intervals between spectral spikes landed on whole seconds. Two, three, five, seven, eleven. The prime sequence counted out in infrared like a metronome. No comet, no natural outgassing had ever pulsed in primes. The technician refreshed the plot, then ran a rolling average, but the rhythm didn't blur. Every minute, the pulses repeated, each one separated by a prime interval. The pattern's regularity drew in more eyes. By the end of the hour, three staffers in two agencies had quietly compared notes. The pulses weren't noise. They threaded through the raw frames, visible in every slit and IFU configuration. The intervals never drifted, never doubled back. Always the next prime, 
always the same mechanical precision. A senior analyst pulled the last five hours of data and stacked the frames. The sequence evolved. After the 11th interval, a pause, then the count reset, but the gaps between pulses began to shrink. A countdown. The primes compressed, the cycle accelerating, as if the object was marking time. The signal's source was unmistakable. The nucleus of 3i slash Atlas, not the background, not the instrument. No solar wind, no cosmic ray burst. The pulses cut through the noise, clean as a clock. The technician drafted a confidential message, attaching the pulse logs and interval analysis. The subject line was a single word, countdown. Within minutes, the file was flagged for restricted access. The analyst's report, routed through internal channels, noted the statistical impossibility of a natural source. The phrase deliberate encoding appeared twice. No one used the word communication, not yet. But the implication was everywhere. In the silence that followed, in the sudden spike of access errors on the data server, in the quiet lockdown of the web control room. The chemistry had raised questions. The signal demanded answers. August 7th, the web archive locked behind a wall of error codes and missing files. Every request for the NIR spec data returned only a blank placeholder. The usual public pipeline, raw frames, quick look spectra, calibration logs, vanished in a coordinated blackout. Internal Slack messages, never meant for daylight, hinted at a classified embargo. The justification, unverified anomalies, pending review. But the silence was absolute. No thumbnails, no light curves, no instrument status. Just a growing list of denied access and quiet, frantic escalation. In Washington, unnamed officials convened in secure conference rooms. The Pentagon's own protocols triggered, citing Space Policy Directive 45 Addenda. By the end of the day, global observatories received terse instructions, halt all uploads, embargo every frame, restrict internal review to credentialed personnel. Even partner agencies at ESA and JAXA found their access revoked. The blackout was total, enforced with the kind of urgency reserved for existential threats. August 18th before dawn, the X-37B space plane launched from Cape Canaveral under a veil of secrecy. The mission manifest, redacted beyond recognition, listed only a single line, C-02 sampling payload. Flight trackers caught the arc of its ascent, then lost the signal as the plane shifted to a classified trajectory. Rumors swirled of an intercept course, a rapid response maneuver to Shadow 3I slash Atlas. No official statement followed. The world's most advanced telescopes were cut off from their own data, and the military now held the only keys. The blackout was not just about science. It was a move from open inquiry to containment. A signal that whatever 3i slash Atlas carried, it had crossed the line from cosmic mystery to national security. Dr. Sinan, Dr. Lin, the lead orbital analyst at the Minor Planet Center, logged into the astrometric dashboard at 0312 UTC. The most recent batch of mid-infrared images from the web pipeline showed a feature she had never seen before, a straight rotating band of darkness slicing across the nucleus of 3i slash Atlas. The shadow cut a perfect chord, pivoting with a regularity that defied natural explanation. It moved with the object's rotation, not with the sun's angle, as if anchored to an internal axis. The raw frames, checked against Gemini South and IRTF logs, confirmed the anomaly. Every exposure, every wavelength, the shadow remained razor straight. Lynn compared the light curve against orbital predictions. The timing of each dip lined up with a 12-hour, three-minute cycle. The shadow was not a surface scar or a plume. It was a mechanical silhouette repeating with the precision of engineered motion. Meanwhile, the object's trajectory told its own story. Over a dozen nights, Pan Stars and Subaru registered micro thrusts, minute, 
deliberate nudges that kept three I slash Atlas locked to the ecliptic plane. The alignment was surgical, less than 1% off a perfect solar system threading, a path so improbable that computer models spat back odds of one in a hundred thousand. No comet, no fragment, no natural wanderer had ever flown so true. Then came the hydrogen line bursts. SETY's radio logs picked up 12-hour, three-minute pulses, each one mapping a sequence of points in the sky. When decoded, the intervals traced a map from the Triangulum Galaxy to Earth. The ratios in the pulse train echoed the double helix of DNA, a spiral embedded in the numbers. Not a random beacon, not a cosmic accident, a message, or a mirror. The evidence stacked higher, a rotating shadow, adaptive course corrections, a countdown mapped in hydrogen, and a pattern that pointed home. The question was no longer whether 3i slash Atlas was engineered. It was who, or what, had set it on its path. On August 6, 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope triggered an emergency override after detecting a pure CO2 halo, an unprecedented signature never recorded in any known comet. Within 48 hours, global data embargoes and military launches followed, confirmed by official launch logs and embargo notices dated August 7th and August 18th. The evidence is clear. 3. I slash Atlas's perfectly symmetrical structure, rotating internal shadow, and prime number signal sequences were documented in multiple observatory logs and classified briefings. Yet the core questions remain. No document explains the origin of the prime number countdowns or the reason for the hydrogen line bursts forming a map from Triangulum to Earth. As of today, over 60% of the scientific data and internal communications remain sealed in classified archives. The facts are undeniable. Something interstellar passed through our solar system in 2025, displaying traits no natural object has shown before. Whether engineered or a cosmic anomaly, the world waits for answers, listening in the dark.